Right. Now, as promised, Heather Heather Potter, who's the volunteer centre coordinator, is going to tell you a little bit about Bolton CBS. Hi. Um, as James was just talking there, I'm just sat there thinking, wow, what a long way we've all come in such a relatively short time, really. So, uh, with all the partners and everything, I think it's it's quite amazing to just listen and hear what's what's going on and things. So, yeah. So I'm Heather Potter, I'm the coordinator of the Volunteer Centre, for those of you that might have heard of that, and it's part of Bolton CBS, which stands for Bolton Community and Voluntary Services, and we're based at the Bolton Hub on Bold Street, some of you may have accessed our services before. And as a volunteer centre, basically we help to support people to get into volunteering, um, so we brokerage people into volunteering, but we also support groups such as this one who involve volunteers around good practice in volunteer management so that hopefully volunteers have a good experience when they choose to volunteer. Okay, so I started working, I think, um, bumped into you in, in the hub, I think you just been to see Chan for Bolton Interface, and it's like, have you had a volunteer centre coordinator? We started talking, that's in about December 2014, so we've helped since then, um, helping to recruit volunteers. So we do that at the volunteer centre. I don't know whether you've heard of something called the Do It website, do dash it or um, that we advertise our volunteering opportunities on. Um, we also do one-to-one -one interviews with people who are interested in volunteering. So we've had this uh, several different opportunities advertised with the volunteer centre, um, the magazine subcommittee, the treasurer, etc. Uh, helping to get volunteers into, into this group. And then following on from that, um, we've also been involved in the good practice around volunteering management. So as, as the group has grown, I think it sounds a bit boring, but policies and procedures are needed really around volunteer management. We've helped James to develop a volunteering policy. It's just a simple volunteering policy, but it's there for people and also some help around uh, role descriptions and clarifying roles within within the uh, International Writing Project. In addition to that, um, James has worked with Bolton CDS in a wider sense, so I'm a volunteer centre, but you know, as we mentioned Mark Grundy before, he's delivered training on accessing small grants um, and funding through Bolton CDS posting to other organisations so I know um, we've, we've been there for the group in, in that sense. So I was asked to come and give a little five minute brief as to how we how we linked in and how how we support and I just want to wish you all the well all the best and for the next 12 months and the future with with the uh, with all the exciting projects and things that it, that it sounds like that you're involved with. Dig in for the for the rap. Thank you. Now um, we're going to hear from Caroline Lynch from the Achievement Cohesion and Integration Service about what's going on there. And we're there next week. We're there on the Tuesday morning and the Thursday morning. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Caroline's just going to say a few words. Yes, about yes. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Thanks. everyone. Thanks. Okay. Um, James introduced us before. I'm from the Achievement Cohesion Integration Service, and we're based um, just off Trolley Old Road at an international family centre called Starter mm -hmm. Road. So basically, all new international arrivals from all over the world end up in our centre. And this year alone, I think we've seen over 600 families. And they travel from all over the world. Some are refugees, some are asylum seekers. We have um, EU migrants. We have unaccompanied minors. So they all come to our centre. We stay there for, on average, about two, three weeks. And um, we then signpost them into schools and then we support them in school. So that's what our centre does. 
Uh, we also signposted when we work with all the other agencies, Bolton at Home and lots of others. Um, and next week, James and his team are coming in to work with our families. Um, we've been very busy, James, and the children have been painting and writing and doing lots of poetry, and it's all about identity. Um, the families, the parents, interestingly enough, every single parent who's written something this week has mentioned that they want their family to be safe and happy, and if they have boys, they would like them to be good boys. <laughs> All of them, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. Um, so we're looking forward to next week, and hopefully we will get a lot out of it. Okay, thank you. So it's time for the, the speed networking now, and um, what I want you to do is to just find anyone who you've never seen before. <laughs>